<laughs> hey guys. <laughs> I'm not feeling good today. Don't let the smile fool you. I'm like, I don't feel too good. I just feel, I mean, I just took, I just took an exam, which I thought I failed, but I, I did well actually. So I'm like so surprised and happy for myself. But today I've been trying to like study for my next exam. So it's just like exam after exams. Um, are you gonna go? <laughs> Thanks. Awesome. Anyway, yeah, so not feeling too good, but I'm happy because I'm grateful because it's not because Thanksgiving's around. It's because, well, yeah, my aunt is coming from Canada to be my patient. She's putting, she's putting everybody that's in, you know, that's in my hometown that can't, you know, come for me. She's putting everybody to shame every single one of them so if you guys are watching this and you guys are my friends and family that live in the US you know she just put all your every single one of you guys to shame because she's in Canada she's coming to the US to be my patient I'm so happy um, okay he's backing it up Let me get, out. get away from him <laughs> yeah she's putting and um, she doesn't even know I have a channel so but if she eventually finds out thank you auntie <laughs> I love you I love you so much and I greatly appreciate you coming to sit for me and um, yeah I'm gonna do an x-ray on her and also you know work on her so she's doing a lot for me you know so thankful oh uh, yeah but I didn't wake up with a smile on my face because I did not feel well this morning but I have to keep going because it gets harder as um, you know as you go through the program and also there's something else I want to talk about that really made me you know when you feel sick and then something else happened and you feel when I mean I, I felt like that had happened before I felt sick so it probably contributed to me not feeling well because mentally I wasn't feeling all right so uh, it just bothers me that you know you have friends and family and I mean I guess maybe if I was a mother I'll probably be protective over my child um, like that but you know it just I feel like I would bend over backwards just to help somebody out and you know it's not always the same I don't it's not it's not reciprocal like I, it's not res reciprocated to me um, you know when I help somebody out I don't want to say anything I don't want to say but I do try to help people out um, I don't like saying what I've done to help people out but you know if somebody needs my help I'll try my very best to help them out and then as soon as I ask for their help oh god oh no oh hell's break loose oh no you know it's just it's kind of sad that people have that mentality that you should help them but they shouldn't even look your way when you need help it's just, I mean, this is what I, I really want to talk about. I want to talk about like finding a pedo patient. That's what I'm really struggling with. I can't find a kid, a kid patient, um, which it, it's a requirement. You have to fulfill it. If you don't fulfill it, you you will fail. It's something. It's it's one of your requirements. You have to meet every single one of your requirements. Um, I'm trying to like ask friends and family. But they seem to be very protective over the child. They think I'm gonna just jack their child's teeth up or something. I'm like, because I'm not a hygienist yet. But I bet when I when I am a hygienist, they'll need me to like, you know. But that's another time. That's a story for another time. But I don't think I'll be, you know, we I'll feel any. Um, I'll be remorseful or vengeful and not wanna, you know better the old care of their child I wouldn't do that but it's just right now that I need help like I need a child in my chair I can't get one I mean I was thinking the other day I was like if I why didn't I start having kids five years ago or six but I wasn't ready like I didn't, I didn't want a kid I still don't want one now because kids are expensive and I don't have I can't even support myself right now you know I'm with my dad that's where I'm living right now and I have to be able to support myself to support a kid. Um, I love kids. I like my baby nephew. He's so cute. And I, he makes me want to have a child of my own, but I really I can't afford one. So 
yeah that's like what I'm really struggling with right now like it, it drained me emotionally that maybe why I'm sick because I it just really bothered me it's just I felt you know so yeah probably has a psychosomatic effect on me but I don't know but I, I woke up feeling sick just like maybe because I've been stressing way too much about this I was stressing over my test that I just took and I was also stressed about not finding a kid and I was shocked and it felt like a slap in my face because I, I this is what I've I always you know not always but I try my very best to like sometimes because I work for this company where I could just like work on my schedule so I try to like work on my schedule whenever like my needs a babysitter I try to like you know babysit and stuff like go get the kid bring him to my house and bring him you know what I mean like why can't I just have the kid and like work on him like are you that overprotective of your child am I really gonna injure him no I'm not you know it bothers me that you I'm good enough to be his babysitter but I can't I'm not even gonna put a sealant on him I'm just gonna do a dental examination probe his mouth and make sure he doesn't have any cavities which you want you you're gonna need me to do you know you actually want me to do it right now to make sure that he doesn't have any cavities and his permanent um and his primary dentition so th so it doesn't it doesn't affect his permanent dentition you know so it's it's just I think he is just like it's kind of like ignorant of him like he just doesn't know how important it is for his kid to also be screened by by a hygienist I'm not a hygienist yet but basically I have hygienists surrounding me and dentists that could actually it's actually good for your child so it's like so it's okay it's not okay because if it was me if I had a child and my child like in a heartbeat you know but I guess some people gotta do what they gotta do I don't understand it Maybe one day I will. I don't know if I if it's something that I need to understand or something that's worth trying to understand. But um, yeah, it's not even him. There's like this other family friend that's also feeling the same way. I was like, maybe, maybe I would too. I don't know, but because I have the experience of needing a child I wouldn't hesitate to just you know if I had a child and somebody else needed it. let's say in, like in a year I have a child in five years or six seven years from now a hygiene student needs a child I will have have her or him work on my child you know because I know exactly what it was like certain life experiences once you had them like you're um, you're more aware. I guess he also he probably thinks I'm gonna drill his child's teeth or something. I'm not a dentist and there are dentists on site. They would never allow that kind of stuff, you know. I don't know I don't know what goes on in his mind. I asked him but he doesn't really want to tell me so I'm so tired. I'll talk to you guys later.